guys this is the uh, 2000 xjr that's the x308 body um, that i just picked up recently uh, excellent car had a great cruise back i drove it back from indianapolis to florida had pretty much zero issues the whole way uh, but one thing that i did run into on the way back um, my driver's window uh, stopped going down uh, instead making a little click uh, when I press the button. Um, sounds like it's trying to do something, but it's not moving. Um, the other windows all seem to work. Um, this seems to be, from a little bit of research, a somewhat common problem. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about here. So when I press the button, if you listen to this, I'm hoping that comes through on the camera but it's pretty quiet but again it makes a kind of a little click click noise as it's trying to cycle you know it sounds like almost like a little solenoid or something like that um, so obviously that's not working however um, if we look over here one touch does still work on the other windows and goes back up no problem and I've also heard that with this problem often you get a, an issue with the sunroof um, where the sunroof will open, but then it will close shortly after that on its own. Uh, I haven't tested this yet, but let's see what happens. It's raining, so hopefully it does close pretty quickly. Thankfully, it's just a drizzle, but let's see what happens here. And if it doesn't close, oh, okay, there you go. So, those two factors make this sound a lot like the problem I was reading about online, which is very cool. Most likely then, uh, it's actually a relatively simple fix. Uh, what has been suggested is simply disconnecting the battery, letting it sit for 10 minutes uh, in an effect, you know, or an attempt, I should say, to uh, just, you know, reset the whole car. And then when you reconnect the battery, theoretically, uh, that should have resolved the issue. So it uh, seems like a super simple thing, but, you know, better safe than sorry. Uh, may as well try it and then if it's uh, not working after that we can look a little deeper and see what it may be. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to disconnect the battery albeit it seems simple. figure we may as well show you all the steps and uh, I guess uh, we'll see if this, uh, this solves it. For this we're only going to need to remove the negative terminal just because we're trying to get it to do a reset. Obviously, if you needed to remove the battery for any reason, you could remove both terminals. This is this cover right here for the positive one that just pulls off. And these tie downs are Torx bolts. I'm not really sure of the size, but uh, they are pretty big, so you'd need a decent sized Torx wrench to get that off, and then the battery should just lift out. But all we need to do is remove this negative terminal, or cab cable I should say, and let it sit for 10 minutes. And that's it. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. I just reconnected the battery and put the trunk panels back together. Didn't figure I'd need to show you guys how to do that. That was pretty straightforward. And uh, yeah, I've just hopped in, turned the key to the accessory position, uh, just to see what we got. So, about to find out if this worked together. Fingers crossed. And would you look at that? <laughs> well, that was just about the easiest fix that you could ask for. So, um, if you guys are having similar symptoms to what I had, uh, looks like that should do it. Let's see if the sunroof works, because that was the other symptom. And while we're waiting to see if this thing closes itself, um, one of the things I read is that potentially it could be something to do with the key tumbler if you're using the manual, like physical key, to unlock and lock the car. Um, if the key tumbler 
uh, basically doesn't go back all the way to the right position. Um, something about the global entry may be causing it to, uh, to stay closed. So, um, yeah, I guess as you can see, the sunroof has not closed like it did last time. So I think we have resolved our issue. I'm going to close it myself. I forgot it's not one touch closed for safety purposes. There we go. Perfect. So that was pretty easy. Just about one of the easiest things I've ever done on a car. Uh, really hope this was helpful for you guys. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if, uh, if this helped you fix your problem or if you uh, are having a similar problem with different, uh, you know, different symptoms or, you know, if it's the same problem and this didn't resolve it, I'd be interested to hear what's out there. So once again, this is for the Jag X308. I uh, know that goes up until 2003. Um, yeah, and fingers crossed, this takes care of everything that you guys need. See you next time.